The department has launched a junior minors program in 2018 to provide opportunities for new entrants identified through the mining value chain, as well as assist with issues of access to funding, geological information, compliance, and access to markets in order to diversify ownership, participation, and increase investment in job creation in the sector. Currently, there are over 90 companies on our database, most of them requiring funding opportunities. This has prompted us to partner with the Industrial Development Corporation and are in the process of establishing a junior minus fund to particularly fund uh, on providing exploration investment capital to black-owned emerging miners, considering that funding institutions are not willing to invest in that space. I must also say that the PIC has also agreed to make a significant contribution to this program. We, in this regard, have invested, if I say we, the royal we is yourselves as a country, a government, uh, have invested 20 billion rands for the Council of for the Council for Geoscience to carry out a 10-year intensive mapping program. The aim is to map the country's mineral resource to a scale of 1 is to 50,000 former Zamazamas, now called the Kimberley Artisanal Miners, have got some mining permits and are in the process of getting an exploration uh, 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 prospecting right. Where issued on the, the permits were issued on the 30th of April. Just a day before May Day, we, they became not just workers of somebody else, but working for themselves. So they were very excited. And that was after successfully negotiating a tailings mining resource or a dump from Ikapa Mining, and also have access to 500 hectares of diamondiferous ground called floors to mine for themselves. Some of them are already properly licensed to trade and deal in rough diamonds. That's the genesis of it. We, in this regard, have also uh, concluded consultation. Maybe I shouldn't say concluded because we still have one to go. Uh, the, the summit, or the revised mining charter. We have paid attention to engagements with affected communities across the country because their inputs are crucial for the growth, development, and sustainability of this industry. The president has also given us a task of ensuring that the sector is transformed, not only to promote equity, but also to ensure that it develops in a sustainable and inclusive manner. We ultimately would want to implement a charter that, amongst others, has specific provisions to ensure job creation, beneficiation, local procurement, and employment equity. It should promote skills development, technological innovation, and exploration. And as indicated earlier, South Africa has the potential to economically develop for the benefit of all. This is also emphasized by the invitation uh, we have received to attend the upcoming G7 summit in Canada <clears throat> after a seven year absence in the economic forum of some of the most powerful nations in the world. The president has said South Africa would use the opportunity to invite investors to inject capital into the mining sector. Investment in the sector is particularly crucial for junior miners as most struggle to grow and be sustainable due to challenges of, that include limited or no funding, as well as lack of mentorship. We also embrace the participation of women, youth, and rural communities. We have seen a decline uh, in employment in the mining industry. We currently employ just over 450,000 people. This can change if we support Junior Miners Initiative that will be able to create jobs in the country to alleviate poverty and inequality.